Father, sister, my brother, sister, Shelly, at at when they are mohai, like Nagihana at all or a TB thing, like a Yabulaya. So, like, came okay, I'm within the time mohai have a common yen, like, okay, give it some of that, like, even the no, like, get a lot of more, get a lot of like, I think about it. You never get over it. You never get over the picture that we actually saw. You never get over what's in the media. You never get over what you can actually Google a burnt body or Karabumukona's burnt body. You can never get over that. I can actually see it when I'm, I'm talking to you and I can actually. You never get over that picture. A communicable disease of poverty. And sadly, we still see the most of it in our crowded. Uh, environments, peri-urban townships, uh, rural poor areas, places where people are crowded and share a lot of air and poverty plays a significant role. Obviously also healthcare workers are at risk but we see a great deal of tuberculosis still in this country. We look like the generalized epidemic that occurred in Europe in the 1900s. We have a lot of TB going on, and that's why there's a lot of death. Roughly, if you want to think about it, it's about a jumbo every day in South Africa going down in terms of tuberculosis. What is driving me is the, the passion. When I started doing this, like I had a passion of helping the community and working around the community. That's why I went to train for child and youth care work. I've been with communities around, from 2009, working with community. That's what I love to do. And then I, can't, I cannot say I'm afraid of COVID-19 and then stay home and then say, uh, let the people die, let the people not take the treatment, no. I have to do something. As you can see, every day people are waking up. Like you, you are here today. Yes, TB is, is, is deadliest, TB, because uh, you can get TB easily. And then if you are not adhering to the treatment, you, 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 you can die. Any disease that comes, like pneumonia, like stuff, they can get through you easily. Because TB, it weakens your immune system. So if you are you're not taking the treatment that can make sure that your immune system is, is, is okay, then you are in danger of dying. I do know a few of them who died concerning TB. Since well, I'm working with the community, uh, sometimes they report that uh, mm, Client number, mama, he passed away because I know that before that and then didn't go back to take. And then some they, they admit them to this MRT uh, a center, like, you know, when they are, they defaulted where uh, they can no longer cure it, but they just have to, uh, to, 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 to help the people. So I do know of them who, who died from TB. I tested positive for TB. They started like uh, uh, isolating themsel themselves from me and then until uh, at the clinic they gave me the go ahead that I can come back to work after three months of taking the treatment and then I came and then I explained to them and then they also explained to them that uh, this guy won't uh, infect you. And then what I experienced also is that I, I was very, very weak and I needed the support and I, as well as I'm from another province, not here. I needed family around me, which I didn't have, but people from where I work and other friends, they did sometimes support me. But you know, you like, you feel emotional, like your psychologically, like you, 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 you are break, you are breaking down, like, you know, like,
maybe COVID-19 is in everybody's minds because now they can't fly to Cape Town and enjoy a nice holiday. Because normally you can fly to Cape Town and not go to the areas where almost 100% of people are infected with tuberculosis today. So what I can also tell you in this part of the world, by the time a child goes to primary school, about one in five will become TB infected. By the time they turn 15, one in two are TB infected. And by the time they're adult, almost all the people in the communities that I'm referring to will be TB infected. Now, not all of them will go on to get disease, but this is abnormal compared to the rest of the world. You know, this would be an outbreak. It would be a scandal if, if this happened in Europe. When I last counted 160 candidate vaccines for COVID-19, we still sit with BCG for tuberculosis, you know. The lack of innovation, uh, attention, energy going into TB is just, it's, it's inexplicable, it's perplexing to me given that in one country, 60,000 people lose their lives. So, like, game, in the time, Mohai have a tomonian, like, give it a little like, even the no, like, get a camo, capella camo, like, a shinky barbie. I'm like, like, ho ba ka mohemo nje like ke bolela le wena wa ka le hore nna ke nene xdr so i fall eo and le ona ke ona e ke tswa ngo khoso ba re e dangerous dan e leng hore ke khoenela go sizwe ke ona final tb e leng hore le ke ona ke tshabang like le ke tsama ange re a ke tsore ke mang ane ne ngona ya hore ke default de ne na ho le bima hore ke tlo le kwa e na ke tla mina ke ka mela hore ke choose between the police le kwa e ne so like kwa ya imnate like ha ke tsuba na ku tlo imnate like mo ha ba phela ba nkhala o tlhoile kwa e like ke bona ga re kwa e e better than the police like hore ke default de ke lebele tsore ha o ba mara ba tlo ba ke phela le bona ba yo ring na ke tlohela kwa e ke tlhoela ba yala and then ke busy ka dilo tsa ngkha like ba bo so na ke ke tlhoile di police ke choose kwa e between the police ke ona ntone ne default di sa ke lebele tsore kwa e Best than the police. So, how about the police? Like, Papa can I get a little camera? Cooler bag. How can I get a police? Get it, say, give Dumba camera cooler bag. Like, guess I didn't know. Like, can I know about we didn't come home? Like, a Sabbath lady do at all. Like, can need the energy boost the porridge? Like, how can I go to the game? No, I was some far. Bambutura or Nor Bagam Patsona, Tons and Nagiri, get the Cheltavana, get Giddy Reggae. Bacon and Butter sometimes get a miller calzaziki jay fruit. But go get a guy in Hori, Chelet Avari Fer and Abati B. No, even Lino Conway a good linking like Utsurgi TB, Olivia, Sister No Levella Fela, so Jay Hori. How you cobella for my grand to Kobutura when I was sharp, who feed the Ushap like Bar Levella Hori. 
लाइक बल बल बैकग्राउंड रो थे ओ व मेरे पीला ओ आई मु डिजर्व चलते या या सास लाइक अरे करे का मुंच इन अने सेकंड बोल ओ पॉजिटिव के ना ले नो ना सॉरी के टीवी ने लाइक यू को है ना फोन ना ले ना दी पीली सिकेर नो वाई लाइक रसा नो शो खोसो बर्निए न्यार बल्कि सब लोग जरो ना इवन दो मुट हाइगे ना है कि कोमेल Or like a couple of something sour, maybe gaj, and like a sort of an amount of glory or got a very TPL and positivity. Go more comare like it. The full killer's part of the little one, second born one. Come on, please. I'm sorry. Generally, uh, what do I do? I laugh at that. It's entertaining for me. But not a lot of men are willing to admit that that type of behavior is the behavior that contributes to men seeing women as possessions, and most importantly, seeing women as their possessions that they can do whatever they want with. get over it you never get over the picture that we actually saw you never get over what's in the media you never get over what you can actually google a burnt body or karabu mukona's burnt body you can never get over that i can actually see it when i'm i'm talking to you and i can actually you never get over that picture you know and that is why each time there's a case that's reported it hits hard it takes us back it hits rock hard you know so it So it's almost like now we we going to live through the moment. So it's like, and funny thing is, it never hits hard until it actually happens to you. Karabo's story is very very touching because um, I've been through an abusive relationship with my baby dad of two, you know, and it was more than that. It was more of an obsession. You mind checking the call lists, what time you come back from work, you know. Um, so I've been through that, and you you have a fear. Even after I broke up with him, getting into another new relationship, he instilled that fear in me. You know, um, then that happened to Garabo, and now the fear is on another level. You know, um, even when you are in an, a, a relationship, you fear for your life. Is it going to happen to me? If it could happen to her, and she's close to me, it can happen to me. And within the controlling of the men themselves, then that's our duty. Because there's nothing that the government we don't expect the government to now control our men, you know. So that is our duty, as sisters, to help them, as well. These these men, as much as we think they messed up, we need to also help them. This is we need to work hand in hand. Uh, you are in a relationship with an abusive boyfriend. You you leave him. You leaving him to abuse another woman. Do you understand? Is there a way that you can actually help that woman? You know, can you talk about it? Maybe not with you because when. When you're in a relationship, it's a bit difficult for you to actually tap into the, you know, psych. So, get help. Get someone to help them if you can see the signs. 
Remember an abuser. It's all about the psych. psych. So psychologically, this guy might be messed up. So that's where the killing also comes in. How do I fight you when you've got so much anger from your past, your dad, your mother? Maybe you grew up seeing your dad hit your mom. How do I fight that? That's deeper than me. I can't fight that. There's no need for violence. Why are we, why are we saying gender-based violence? We're trying to fight the violence part. Why, why do we want to live in a violent society? We might as well just beat everybody up. We just beat each other up, walk in the streets and just start beating each other, you know? Why, why, why do we have to use violence in anything? No, there's no need. Yeah, I cried every day. I cried every day. I cried from the day I heard that she passed. I cried every single day. I cried even at the memorial service. I cried so bad that uh, some newspaper actually caught me crying and my son was actually giving me water. So, so it was almost like a moment. I cried every day. We all cried every day, but we just didn't get a chance to, to mourn. You even ask it to cry because you just want to keep it together. But it was as hard as hell. It was, it was really hard. <laughs> Listen, Sandile could be out. Karabu will never come back. Sandile could be in. Karabu won't come back. Sandile could do whatever he wants to. Karabu won't come back. Karabu is gone. mistaken to assume that we passed that era simply because that strong cultural man for example who was in charge is no longer there but South Africa remains a heavily cultural society and for that reason um, patriarchy is still heavily entrenched we still have women for example who believe that they were uh, born to serve men but you have to realize that culture is uh, up for is, is, is perceived you know, so when you look at an object, uh, what we see, we can see the same object, but you and I perceive it differently. For example, you can have a culture that says a woman needs to kneel when she gives man, gives a man food. That's seemingly innocuous, but it's not. You know, um, to someone else, that is a symbol of ownership. In the work that we do, we find that now we challenge culture which is not always well uh, received. And to be blunt with you, a lot of instances we are blatantly rejected because they mention the moment sometimes you question culture, you question one's identity or one's way of being. I think the problem that we have now, and it's part of a larger campaign, for example, that we as Sokia are working on is the issue of accountability. Uh, men, and in this context, South African men do not want to be accountable for the fact that we are the perpetrators of gender-based violence. Especially the day before, last day, at least to go, last day, I to go to 